Hey, what's good, family? Just wanted to talk to you real quick in this video. It's not going to be anything too long. Stop trading options. If today is day one, week one, whatever for you. If you haven't spent time looking at stock charts and like watching and seeing how the price stock actually moves, stop trading options. When it comes to trading is just pattern recognition. So naturally there are going to be levels and things that you should do before you apply leverage to something. It's very much true that you can make money fast trading options, but you can also lose money fast trading options as well. And lately I've been receiving a lot of messages from people talking about how tough times are right now. And yes, times are looking tough right now. I know a lot of people trying to switch jobs and having trouble trying to find jobs. So no doubt times are tough. Food prices are high. So naturally people start looking for different ways to try to make money, which is good. But options is not the place to do that, especially if you have never traded stocks or watched the stocks. It's going to be very hard. Trading options is definitely a valuable skill to have, but it's a skill that takes time to build. It's no secret that some people take to it a lot faster than others. But most of the time, those people who take well to it have traded stocks before. They're familiar with seeing the charts. They took the time, got familiar with the movement that certain stocks make. So because of that, all they really needed to learn and understand is understanding the Greeks. And once you get the hang of that and learn how to actually execute an options trade, it's pretty much trading stocks with less money, but higher leverage. But if you take one thing away from this video, do not trade options, especially if you haven't traded stocks yet. Before you enter any trade, you should have some sort of bias, some sort of opinion, some sort of trade plan for what you think is going to happen. Whether you think it's going to go up or you think it's going to go down, or maybe you say it's going to go both ways. But the only thing I need is that I move this much. It's, it's a lot easier to predict when you're familiar with the way stocks move, you're familiar with the amount of time it takes them to make a move and where to pick targets when they typically pick up momentum, when they typically lose momentum, what it looks like when they're about to reverse. These are all things that you should be on the lookout for when you're in a trade. These are skills that you should have before playing with options. So if anything, if you've never traded options or you're new to options, you find yourself losing or you find yourself very emotional in a trade, there are a lot of factors and options that, that make them a lot more stressful than trading regular stocks. Your money's in there. It moves a lot more than regular stocks. And not to mention the time decay. The longer you're in there, the less value your contract has. The longer that you're in the trade, and it's not moving in your favor, that contract is just losing value. Whereas if you're trading stocks, that's one less factor that you don't need to worry about. So I want to take this time to iterate that I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice, but if I were new to trading and I wanted to trade options, I'm not thinking like 20 year old Matthew when he started trading, because honestly, I probably would go straight to options. I'm thinking like 27 year old Matthew who has all the experience now. If I were to start trading today, I, I would start with trading stocks, whether it is a fractional share, a full share, whether it's just three or four shares, whatever you can get, whatever stock you want to trade options on, I would learn the way the stock actually moves first. And then say you're able to find support and resistance, buy it at support sell it at resistance. When you're able to see these patterns and notice the thing the stock does over and over again, you can still slowly grow your portfolio trading stocks. But until you master what that particular stock is doing, on, honestly, you're just guessing and gambling. Another thing that I would do if I was just getting into it, I would focus on one strategy. I would focus on one stock, maybe, maybe two or three stocks, but I would try to stay focused on the stocks that I trade because honestly, that's all it takes. All it takes is one stock. You learn the way it moves and then over time. And if you're trading stocks, you just scale up the amount that you are trading with. And, and by the time you get to scaling the amount in your stock trading, then maybe it's time to start looking at options 
in the way they work. This is something that has been on my heart a lot lately. I receive more messages from people who have never traded at all, wanting to jump straight to options than I know what to do with. Just felt the need to make this video. To those of you that haven't already and are interested in getting up to 20 free stocks, this is more stocks than I have ever seen Moomoo give. When you open an account with Moomoo using my referral link down below in the description, they're offering up to 20 free stocks for doing so. If you enjoyed this video or learned anything, be sure to smash the like button. If for some reason you're new here and haven't already, be sure to subscribe. And last, but certainly not least, thank you so much for watching. Matthew Manuel signing off, and I want to change your life.